may I add one more thingy? Because in a while, I feel really uncomfortable. I actually noticed the pattern of a bias and prejudice also equally practiced by those believers and the apostles of a non-Americanization and Americanism of mine. Because they always know a fine fault in the realm of my English. It means, you know, the culprit of every possible communicative fallout would lie in my lack of communication or lack of communicative skills. I actually witnessed so many different reasons that could be blamable. Because, you know, I, in just a couple of weeks ago, I saw my mom and my dad, who are perfectly well-bred Koreans, they were talking to each other. And my dad said, oh, so this from where? Technically, she, he said she saw this from where. But you know what? She, uh, he omitted a subject, a subject of the sentence. So my mom thought that he was talking to her. So my dad answered. And my, my mom answered, oh, I saw it from Neighbor. I saw it posted on Neighbor.com. And he was really perplexed to hear that because of the contextual circumstances. Because there could be no way this could be posted on the website like Google or Neighbor. There was no chance. And he was really um, bewildered to hear that. That was completely unexpected and somewhat yeah, but the problem is, you know, any type of um, communication could go wrong because of different reasons other than language, fluency or proficiency. But my haters always find the cause in language. Language is really the proper tool, the language, I mean. What language I'm referring to is very obvious. They always had the reason why. It's really kind of uh, shocking because they always you know, make their deduction based upon the backward thinking. They always draw a conclusion based upon the my ex post facto behaviors because they were so keen on analyzing or monitoring my behaviors according to their own thesis, right? <laughs> this is really dogmatic creed to tell the truth, you know, they already created a religious cult to say that they actually know everything about me. They had a such a deep, you know, understanding. That would, I know what, um, that would actually make them sp specifically professional about analyzing taste in the composer in the constitution of my being. That's what they normally argue. Can you believe it? I mean, I think, you know, this is really a dangerous idea. Those are nothing but a byproduct and a product of the prejudice. They assume in a certain presumptuous uh, hypothesis based upon their arrogance that they actually knew everything about me. And to me, it sounds nothing less than the hypocrisy because they have no reason to blame me for actually being so presumptuously arrogant and haughty because they actually think that they have figured me out with a sufficient expertise to overwhelm me and i just really don't appreciate their attitude either it was really unfair i'm more than happy to take a legal action against them because you know what i've been mistreated by their own familiarity now, there is an American proverb or idiom like you know, familiarity breeds contempt. But the thing is, you know what? I don't really need to be analyzed by you. You're not really the person who can actually you know, wield the scepter by claiming the greatest authority in the analysis of my humanness or my humanity. No, I don't think so. You don't really know a thing about me. That's a really a totally a smattering knowledge of someone's personhood. So simply we're actually you know, tied together by this in a bloody kinship per se huh. we're actually simply mm -hmm, bound by the kinship that does not mean you know we actually know each other so well like the back of our hands no personal premise that would be so axiomatic to be taken as the universal truth hell no huh